United States Representative Catherine Clark visited Watertown earlier this week to formally announce funding that aims to protect the climate resiliency of Watertown and surrounding communities. WCN News Director Dan Hogan joins us now from along the Charles River to explain what tree trenches are and how exactly they'll make an impact here in Watertown. Stormwater runoff that enters the Charles River after a big rainstorm can often bring with it harmful pollutants, phosphorus, and bacteria. But a grant that is being given to the city of Watertown from the federal government hopes to prevent some of these harmful substances from entering the river. Watertown is blazing a trail for the Commonwealth and the country. Congresswoman Catherine Clark visited Watertown on Monday afternoon to meet with city and state officials at City Hall, where she also held a news conference, where she formally announced a $240,000 federal grant that will fund Watertown's stormwater tree trench project. This straightforward investment will deliver a sustainability hat trick, absorbing climate warming pollutants out of the air, filtering water pollutants out of the ground and the Charles River, and reducing extreme summer temperatures for everyone. In total, 15 of these stormwater tree trenches will be installed around the city. The value of trees as stormwater management um, is often underappreciated and overlooked, but through the installation of these tree trenches, we'll be able to enhance groundwater recharge to highly paved neighborhoods, remove pollution such as phosphorus before water is discharged to the Charles River and improve air quality. This grant is one contribution to a larger set of efforts in Congress, in Watertown and beyond to find smart and effective solutions to our climate challenges. Watertown's stormwater tree trench project is one of eight sustainability projects being funded in the Massachusetts 5th District that Catherine Clark represents. In total, $11 million will be allocated to similar projects across the district that includes Arlington, Cambridge, Framingham, Malden, Revere, Watertown and Woburn. The manager mentioned we recently adopted a climate and energy uh, plan for Watertown. The tree trench grant that we're talking about today is an opportunity to implement some of the aspects of not only that plan, but some of the efforts we've done previously through uh, state grants to look at uh, where uh, some areas in our town, both from a perspective of envir the environment, where we're lacking street trees or tree canopy, uh, to socioeconomic issues of where uh, there are concentrations of seniors or renters or other um, underserved populations. Watertown Superintendent of Public Works, Greg St. Louis, addressed how the city will determine where these 15 tree trenches will be located. So every year throughout town, we review our roads with a pavement management index report choose several streets to invest both local and state dollars to repair our roadways. And so these 15 tree trenches will be incorporated into our city paving management system throughout town. This tree trench project is the latest in a growing number of environmental initiatives that have been adopted by the city of Watertown in recent years. Most recently, just two weeks ago, Watertown became the first city in the Commonwealth to adopt the state of Massachusetts specialized opt-in stretch code that aims to make buildings in Massachusetts more sustainable. Reporting from the Charles River, Dan Hogan, Watertown Cable News. Daniel, thank you very much. Oh, that's very interesting. It is.